This is a tutorial on how to use the calculator to evaluate reciprocal trig expressions. So let's start off with the first example. So here we have cosecant of 30 degrees. And when we evaluate it with the calculator, we can't just directly type it in because there is no cosecant button. So we'll have to utilize its reciprocal function, which is sine. So a way that we could rewrite this expression so that we could evaluate it is by calling it 1 over the sine of 30 degrees. Because 1 over the sine of 30 degrees is the same thing as the cosecant of 30 degrees. So now let's evaluate it. So we'll first type in 1 and then divide by the sine of 30 degrees. Now before you hit enter, make sure that you're in degree mode. So in this case we're in radians, so we need to change it over to degrees. Now we could hit enter. And from this we could see that our result is 2, which means that the cosecant of 30 degrees is also 2. Now let's do another example. This time we have the cotangent of negative 45 degrees. And just like with the last example, we can't just directly type this into the calculator because there is no cotangent button. So we'll have to rewrite it to look like this. 1 over the tangent of negative 45 degrees. Because when we do 1 over tangent, that's the same thing as doing the cotangent. So let's put that into our calculator. So we'll first press 1 and then divide and now we'll put in tangent of negative 45 degrees. Now since we're already in degree mode, we don't need to change it. So we could just hit enter. And when we do that, we get a result of negative 1, which also means that the cotangent of negative 45 degrees equals negative 1 as well. Now let's try one more example. Now we have the secant of pi over 3. And in order to evaluate it on the calculator, we'll have to use its reciprocal function, which is a cosine. So to put it into the calculator, we need to rewrite it to say 1 over cosine of pi over 3. So let's do that. We have 1, then divided by the cosine of pi over 3. Now before we hit enter, we need to remember that we're not using degrees anymore. This time our angle is being measured in radians. So we need to change the mode on our calculator to also be in radians. Now we could hit enter. And when we do that, we get a result of 2 which means that the secant of pi over 3 is also equal to 2. And that's how you evaluate reciprocal trig expressions using a calculator.